without any further delay, coming to tonight's session on visual thinking for impactful design, let me give you an introduction to our distinguished speaker of tonight, Prasad Kose. Prasad has 18 years of varied experience in the design industry with companies like PCS, Microsoft, Ernst & Young, and Synacron. Currently at Creomi, working on a vision to create future innovators, empathetic problem solvers, and creative thinkers. A very warm welcome to you, Prasad. We are absolutely thrilled to have you here with us tonight. Handing the session over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sherina. Thank you for the great introduction. Welcome, everyone. Hope it had been very great, great new year start for all of you. Uh, so once we start talking about visual thinking, before that, I would like to ask one simple question to everyone. Uh, 2020 has not been that great uh, for almost a lot of people okay so let's let's take a moment and if like a couple of you can share what is your recent happiest moment which has been it could be 2020 it could be just start of the year or it could be a previous moment also you can you can enter in the chat box uh Arshama, if like any one of them want to talk i think that uh, we can do as well Sure, Prasad, waiting for them to reply. Sure. Okay, so if you can also check the uh, messages in the chat box as well. Yes, I just so we have one message from Subranta. Yeah, got my fr first freelance project. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations, Subranta. So can you can you uh, explain a little bit more? My daughter said her first sentence, I make a banana. Oh, that's that's nice, Kalani. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure that that is something which you will preserve for your entire life. Anyone else? Got my patent. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sumana. Congratulations. Um, may we know what, what is this patent about? In, in which area? Okay. Um, Sumana or Subranta, if you would like to share that experience, share that moment with us. Subranta, please go on. I've unmuted you. Yeah, hi, Prasad. So, hey, hi, so basically, I have been working as a designer in some of the startups in my career. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been seeing that some of my friends are working as freelancers who are from design background. And okay. I myself uh, switched my career from engineering to design, and uh, it has been a difficult path. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a bit difficult because there was no portfolio and whenever I go and approach someone and I ask that, hey, can you give me a chance to show you my work, how I work? So they, everybody okay. asks that, okay, show me your works. And uh, working with these startups, they take us uh, as like a written documents that you can't share your work outside like that. My career was like that. So I had okay. no work. So I've been trying since last year to get a freelance chance. But uh -huh. this year, actually, I got one where they said that, okay, we won't pay you anything, but you'll have to work for us. And you show us uh, your value. If we see that, okay, there is a potential, then only we'll start paying. So I said, okay. I okay. did all their conditions. I worked for like three, four months. And uh, after that, when I submitted my complete work, they were like, wow, this is really great. And That's we'd like great. to have you for like work for us permanently but i said that no i won't work for permanently i already am working permanently somewhere else so they okay, are like okay. fighting with me right now to that they said that uh, whatever okay. works for you we want you to work for us and finally we okay. have agreed upon part time and uh, that's how i got the chance so, like yeah. nice journey that's great, that's great. congratulations okay so uh if, if you have observed, like when Subranta was overall explaining what he was going through, the way uh, every, like whatever interviews, whatever discussions he had with multiple people, even though maybe Kalyani was not able to uh, share that moment with us uh, on uh, through voice message, but overall, when, when she is writing, okay, her daughter said uh, first sentence, okay. So all these moments, whenever we read about it, whenever we hear someone else's experience, we immediately start imagining, we immediately start visualizing those things, right? So something like when, when Subranta was talking about it immediately appears to us, okay, yeah, this is what has happened to with me also. 
and maybe we are imagining the person who is talking uh, opposite that okay who agreed to uh, do the work maybe the expressions what sumran uh, sumran the what was having when when he uh, client appreciated his work right so as a human whenever we read whenever we hear whenever we uh, see something we immediately start visualizing those things okay so let's let's look at more things so what's the what's the plan uh, for today for today's session so initially we'll be looking at what exactly visual thinking is about okay why visual thinking is important or how it can help us and how to execute that okay now when it comes to how to execute um, uh, let me tell you a little bit secret that okay this is not something very new to us okay we all know how to do that visual thinking but it's like when when we started growing up when we started working on multiple things we kind of start ignoring that part okay not even working in the in the uh, schools and colleges itself so what i'm going to do today is i'm just telling you that okay we are already a visual thinker it's just okay we need to be aware about it and we need to start using that power which we have inside us already okay so let's move ahead i'll just close chat window so that i can see the entire screen okay uh, so quickly if you can just tell me what you already know about visual thinking if you know anything about it will not spend too much time I, i'll uh, explain that if you can tell me immediately okay any any thoughts have you heard about visual thinking before have you read any blog about it have you saw any video have you seen any video sorry okay looks like it's new for everyone that's that's fine that's absolutely good okay so general now tell me uh, you can quick this is kind of a rapid fire question three questions okay so uh, i would like okay or the poll is also there how do you dream text or visual okay okay great as you can see it's almost 100% people are saying almost now it's reaching there okay uh, so almost like 30 out of 41 has already voted that whatever we see in dreams it's always about always visual right we never see something which is in essay format or which is in something a lesson format right it's always visual that's how we dream let's take up the next question can we have another poll yeah so harry potter book movie okay that's a stuff one okay a lot of people like book as well that's nice okay almost equal 13 and 6 45% and 55% as you can see on the result also so again uh, this is just one example harry potter we know our uh, bollywood movies also right three idiots uh, maybe two states of course in in case of two states a lot of people agreed that book is much better than that but rather than reading a book sitting there people generally would like to see the movie which will tell the story visually right in case of great great books like harry potter where a lot of imagination has been used uh again whenever we start reading the book we start visualizing that we start looking in looking that scene overall uh, it that scene completely gets starts uh, started upon in front of our eyes right and that is the reason we read the book then we see the movie and then we say you know no, no, book was much better movie utna maza nahi hai right so that is how overall it works so let's take the last question how do you find parking washrooms or maybe elevators in malls okay by sign okay sign boards okay sign right that's absolutely right because whatever even though even though we are in india maybe you are outside and we know the language but before we read that what exactly has been written over there we start looking for that visual icon signage signs right and when it is maybe we are traveling to another country we are in different uh, airport where we don't know the language 
uh, where washrooms or food court has been recognized only based on the visuals right so basically visual is something uh, it, it doesn't need that boundary or we don't have to understand that particular language which has been in text format so since visual thinking or overall using the uh, visuals it's not something which is very new okay it has been going through through the ancient ages uh, we see cave paintings we understand what exactly that person who was doing that drawing uh, want to say it it but we don't know okay it could be the story which has been uh, done after the hunting or they might be doing the strategy planning how to do the hunting language was not not established so that's the only way to discuss about it that's the only way to communicate internally collaborate with each other to tell others maybe who were not coming for the hunting to tell them okay what has happened when when they uh, someone uh, went for hunting from the house right so a lot of different things uh, that's of course we are just assuming about it okay but again uh, visual power right now also we look at it and we understand uh, what exactly the story they want to communicate it was then and now okay even though there are multiple languages we can talk through different technologies we can uh, have video discussions also but still we prefer to discuss using visuals if we like something we like post we are ready to hit on the uh, like button right this is something from the uh, uh, reference taken from brandwatch.com and the sizes of the icons smileys emojis has been uh, as per the most used one okay uh you might have you might have experienced this that okay whenever something comes on the whatsapp or any any other maybe facebook or linkedin or any other social media uh, for say instagram also a lot of time we want to say multiple things but we are not able to communicate and that's where okay you are you are laughing you are you are laughing out loud okay but you want how do you how do you share that and that's where visuals start helping you a lot you want to say happy birthday and you are really really happy while saying that okay uh so at that point you might be adding multiple cake icons maybe party icon maybe flower bouquet and all other aspects if it is very formal it could be just happy birthday and one cake right so that's how visually expressing things is been still there and it will keep on going okay so we'll look at one very uh, short video which will explain us okay what exactly visual thinking is about and whatever we are talking till now it has been explained really well in this video okay just you still no audio i think okay i hope it was working for everyone right okay so 
as as you might have seen in the video uh, maybe at your end or uh, you was able, you were able to hear it let me see the chat window again show the link okay okay great uh, so in in the video itself and and the questions which i was asking you how we generally look at the uh, washroom signs or parking sign and all other signs right we open the mobile phone and we don't read what is the app name exactly we immediately go for app icon and we start using it we use google maps google maps has has two versions okay it it tells you direction in text format also and it tells you direction in the map format also on most 90 to 99% people they don't use the text direction right unless and until you want to see something specific in there uh, right because we are very much habituated and we are very much okay with looking at the visuals as a human all right and why exactly so till now what we are looking at the what part now let's come into the why section why exactly visuals are really helpful for us okay so 90% of the information now uh, most of most of us who are here are designers but even if you are not designer you are doctor you are engineer or you are any any other person 90% of the information which comes to us and get processed in a day is visual information and that's what we have seen in the signages right even if you are traveling to office or someone is traveling to their clinic if it is a doctor we stop at a traffic signal because we see that red light okay we see that green light and then we start okay so do all those those kind of visual signals visual information which keeps on floating to us keeps on coming to us so 90% of the information any human process daily and of course there are multiple uh, numbers i will not go through all another which is very very important and very um, great insight is if it is visuals we process things 60000 times faster and this has been research which has been done uh, a, a very simple calculation was given to a research candidate like okay 532 maybe or 65 into 75 Uh, the time which has been taken when they had to do the calculation in mind and then the pen and paper was given so pen and paper was much faster this was the simple simple uh, research which has been done uh, in other format also when there was no google map as such and you are telling someone your home address okay there are two lanes and then you need to take a right turn but at that point also it becomes much easier if you just draw it if not drawing you will start telling him the signages major points okay there is a temple there is a hospital there is a school and then you have to take the turn okay because those are the visual clues visual pointers which we understand very quickly rather than remembering okay two lanes and then right and then maybe left and another important aspect is we we remember that information much more better way than the text information these are the facts which has been coming from the research now whatever video we have seen okay um, at creo me where, where we do a lot of these kind of post on our social media and other aspects so this is kind of a summary of what video we have seen how exactly visual brain helps us why visual thinking is very very uh, good for us it helps us to clarify the confusing concepts as i as i mentioned not even uh, uh, confusing concepts but if you want to talk or if you want to respond to a message so instead of writing it you feel it much more easier to uh, place that emoji instead of that right a lot of time we have great ideas and we we can visualize we see okay how exactly things are placed with each other and we start talking okay if there there is a circle below and there is a rectangle on top of it and if you have two lines here you are able to see that you are able to visualize because that's your own idea but if it is getting confusing after some a few more details it becomes very easier that okay you just simply draw it and show it to your client your friend your colleague uh, whatever who whoever you are talking with right and that helps to clarify those concepts and uh, the fourth point is very much similar to that okay it, it communicate the complex ideas in very very simple and easier way when it is pen and paper being a designer um, in the design schools or design colleges or design courses or even your design colleagues everyone keeps on talking that okay before you touch photoshop before you touch sketch or any figma or any other tool right start doing things on paper because that is where 
you start exploring more and more options because you are not you are not worried about spending a lot of time you are not worried about uh, getting failed in that particular idea it is just experiment it is just different options for you right and that becomes so easier to refine your ideas because if it is not really very very good looking uh, another friend or colleague can just come to the whiteboard or paper and then just erase and add a few things more to refine it so everyone is really open to contribute at that point you can understand information and make connections in much easier way how to do that we'll we'll see uh, in few more uh, slides ahead another very important aspect why visual thinking is needed now because as i mentioned it has been there since long time but now it is very it has it is becoming very very important because there is a lot of information overload with uh, to us right now also i'm talking to you guys uh, webinar happening a lot of people if the camera is off a uh, couple of people might be looking at their mobile uh, on whatsapp someone somebody might be talking to family member right so there is a lot of distraction also there is a lot of information which coming to our way we see netflix we see hotstar we see okay what is the score when the next test match is going to be uh, we see what exactly is coming on the news right now what is the status of corona update the, the new uh, new vaccine update also right we hear news uh, we talk to friends we uh, listen to audio books we listen to podcast there is a lot of lot of information again reading articles reading blogs post uh, of course being a human we keep on imagining we keep on dreaming also so when it comes to when it comes to brain when it comes to information storage uh, if you want to buy a new phone you start comparing you start looking for it on amazon any other websites okay what is the memory uh, memory capacity this particular phone has what is the memory capacity this phone has because you want to take a lot of photos you want to store a lot of songs into that maybe like even if it is sound and everything but you want to download few few songs over there you want to take a lot of videos you want to take a lot of selfies pdfs will be there ebooks right all this aspect is going on and we consider memory capacity of that phone memory capacity of our laptop desktop uh, ipads other tablets but when it comes to our brain which is very very efficient very very functional in comparison to all these technologies we don't consider that okay what exactly the memory will be what exactly the memory capacity is about because now right now this is an information age where we are getting information from every aspect and in every way it is flowing towards us but we don't think about how exactly it is getting stored how we can preserve that much more longer and we can have long term memory for better designs for better solutions better creative ideas for for our uh, own projects maybe clients project for for your office right because what happens as soon as you you have multiple thoughts and right now we do a lot of multitasking also and that is where you might see uh, initially few years back like a particular age people started to say that okay no i don't remember uh, his name okay i don't remember that movie name or actor name but now it is very common i mean a very young age person can also see that say that okay i don't remember because it, the that multitasking is not helping you to store that information in your short term memory and let it go into the long term memory which is subconscious mind also right and that is where when you start putting down things on paper it it helps you a lot to retain that information for a longer period of course it it is not going out of your brain but it is helping you okay these are the uh, chunks of information this is how the connection is so it is helping you to sort it out okay right now maybe if you are working on five different projects and within those five different projects there are multiple things which are happening if you just write it down on the whiteboard on your to do app maybe right on on your notepad and you just have those connections okay okay this is what i want to do this is what i do, want to do you will see that you start feeling little bit relax you start that anxiety has been gone and just that writing is helping you to taking thoughts out and getting that clarification even if you are not drawing uh, visual icons as such okay that is another aspect visual thinking or doing visual is not about drawing okay drawing is a part 
which is helping you to see the major uh, measure point or important point of that section particularly but whatever will be written below it can be the text format okay and that is why right now visual thinking is really really helpful in 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 this scenario in this world now let's look at how can we do that now because information is floating a lot uh, we we look at design thinking we see multiple processes online we uh, you search for visual thinking you will see a couple of different processes because this is still uh, getting into the market this is still coming ahead uh, uh, there are very few people who are doing it but individually if you ask me personally whatever i have been doing i think this is this is what the process which i do follow so you look for it you ask uh, uh, different questions to gather proper insights proper information you think about okay what exactly the connection is okay whether it is going to be a hierarchical chart whether it is about uh, different process step by step process or you can jump in between different uh, places right and then put it into visuals okay and when we do that this is generally what happens in the first section where you need to gather the information and again you can see a lot of similarity between uh, the processes about ux design design thinking and maybe other methodologies right and why that similarity is there we'll talk about it also so in initial part where you need to anal uh, ask information there you have to be curious you need to understand the the uh, topic in different ways and when you want to do the analysis make the connections that's where critical thinking skill gets kicked up now when you want to put it into visual manner and show it to a lot of people that's where visual thinking has been and for all these three steps the base is observation uh, as a designer i believe because the topic was about visual thinking for impactful design uh, the most percentage of the participant might be in design field or might be going into that so many of you must be knowing that as a designer observation is very very key aspect very very key skill which is important to us if you keep on observing things if you keep on looking at in in very detail that helps you to come up with your better solutions and you might be knowing that there is very uh, common and very popular way of coming with uh, coming up with great ideas uh, very unique ideas or we call uh, like you can you can say it innovative ideas that is basically connect the dots okay you you connect one different thing with another if we talk about smartphones uh, there were different phones available earlier right uh, they were changing the sizes screen sizes maybe phone shape maybe keyboard but when it started uh, uh, for uh, from the apple perspective what they thought about it okay there is a phone which is already in the market there is maybe microsoft surface table so technology is there why can't we combine two things and come up with a phone where there is no a uh, physical keypad as such right so it's connecting different dots of course connecting the dots uh, the term became very very popular after steve jobs speech at stanford but in other way connecting dots or you can say uh, random random topics connecting together and that's where creative thinking kicks up and to, to to do that you need to create more and more dots for yourself and that happens if you are curious and if you are doing a lot of observation so basically this visual thinking process helps you in other aspect also now let's look at okay before before i uh, go ahead into uh, more things if anyone has any question on this process of course we'll take uh, more questions at the end but any quick questions if you want to ask okay if there are no questions or if somebody is typing no i don't think there are any questions right okay. now okay there is one, oh, one. yeah how to remember things for longer times mind maps or concept maps is really good tool for thinking can you suggest some more tools okay okay uh, so piyush parag uh, how to remember things for the longer times is again when you look at look at the information in much better way you are you are paying attention to that information 
to understand it in much better way and then making connection like piyush mentioned mind map is the basically basic uh, starting point for doing the visual thinking for doing the visual notes which i use extensively uh, in in my personal notes in my uh, projects to teach to in creomi we we basically teach to uh, school going kids that is where also so mind map uh, is something which is a great tool for that uh, piyush will i i'll be showing a list of a uh, few tools at the end like in end, end slides what is the difference between visual design graphic design and interface design okay uh, subhanta i think this question will be a little bit different than the topic what we have and it will take little bit time to explain on that so i think let's take this talk. question a little later then prasad exactly yeah sure so when it becomes to being curious okay initial uh, part where i'm saying okay we need you need to understand a topic much better way you need to pay that attention so that's where uh, we can remember it for longer time because if we if we understand it better so there is very simple a few people call it as 6w uh, a few people call it as 5w and 1h it's nothing but six six uh, questions basically Uh, six ways of asking question okay it's who what when where why and how start practicing this you will you will see that every everything about that particular uh, topic you understand it much much better way uh, if you if, if i have to give one simple example uh, my son is in 600 now and he was uh, doing the studies for upcoming exams and there was a topic called about the gram panchayat and how the Uh, oral panchayat works and you can imagine for him maybe it was like alien words and he was not understanding what exactly it is it was just about you okay i need to read these couple of pages and i need to answer so ratta manna jo rot rot learning wala part hai. and that's where uh, we sat together and we started asking question to each other okay what exactly gram panchayat is what is what is panchayat mean okay when the election happens and who who is the sarpanch okay who who are the members in uh, panchayat why they need multiple uh, panchayats in particular district and where where panchayats are how the process happens for doing the election or having forming that uh, uh, the main panch five people right uh, members and he immediately started enjoying that unfortunately i don't have photographs of those his notes but i can share it later if needed so you can see this is a very simple topic but it started helping a lot and once you start understanding information in this way it absolutely helps you to retain the information for longer period why because your understanding is it better and as you can see uh, who people person uh, specific thing it fits really well with the design uh, field also that's where we are talking about who is our user what kind of kind of problems they are having okay uh, when we do the user journey also that time also we try to understand what is the flow which is going on when and where interaction is happening where the pain points are why exactly it is happening how they are solving it right now you you can ask multiple questions starting with these things to understand the information in much better way now coming to the uh, part how exactly we can do it so visual thinking or putting things visually is again as a language okay we we have learned hindi we have learned uh, marathi any other languages local languages uh, and english so we know okay a b c d and everything those are the alphabets we need to read sorry we need to learn initially to form the words then we learn the grammar in visual thinking is the same okay what you need to do is just learn or know these alphabets which everyone knows as i mentioned earlier we know all these things we know we can form very great uh, shapes or very great objects using these simple alphabets okay so you just need to remember couple of things how to ask questions which is 5w and 1h of course there are different methodologies we can you can use five whys why how ladder but 5w and 1h becomes very effective because it it allows you to ask in different manner different aspects now coming to this alphabet i would like to uh, show you in the whiteboard also
I believe you can see uh, Jamboard over here. I'm not opening chat window, so I'm just assuming you are looking at it. Okay. So as I mentioned, so these are simple visual alphabets. As you can see, the way I have done uh, the presentation also, or the way I'm doing right now, I'm not going for perfect drawing. I'm not going for very perfectly aligned things, very perfectly looking great images or, or visuals in a way. Uh, the reason is basically whenever we want to draw and we start, stop ourselves drawing because we say, okay, I, I'm not good at drawing and what people will say, or my drawing is not something which I can show to everyone. And that's the fear which we have. And that is where these simple alphabets is, are going to help you a lot. Okay. And we all know this. I'm just revising it for you again. Okay. If you, if you want to, if you just do this, one simple rectangle, and you have a triangle over here, we immediately say, okay, this is cup. Of course, I mean, if I do it a little bit more curve here, if I have curve line over here, we say cup, okay? And if I just put two, three simple lines over here, so we know there is some hot beverages, uh, beverage inside, we'll immediately say, okay, this is a coffee cup. Right. Again, you might find this. Uh, this is triangle. You might find this in um, small kids' toys, a plastic piece. We immediately say, okay, this is pizza. Right. Now, if I start putting things like this, now just, just understand uh, many of you, if uh, are there as a graphic designer, working as an illustrator or you create multiple icons or you find icons on different sites like fat icon or icon finder you generally go for these kind of icons right because this is very simple and it is communicating what you want to say in very uh, few lines and effective way right so maybe launch or innovation or something like that what you will do is you will search for an icon which has one triangle on top of it which has one rectangle below and there are a few lines. And just to show the speed. All right. So this is really, really simple. Uh, of course, the icons which I'm showing you right now is not exactly fitting in the context, but the reason I want to show you this is we start assuming it is difficult, but if you start observing things, okay, what is placed on top of it, what kind of basic shapes it has, now let's say one, one more example I'll take. I put a few dots on it. We are starting to think about Manti or KFC most probably. Or if someone is fan of Burger King, right? So these are very, uh, very simple. So of course, this this has been, I think, like a Maharaja burger, quite quite bigger one. So yeah, coming back to the part, this is very very simple, and we like these kind of icons. We start using, we start downloading these kind of icons. At a few points, I'm sure um, uh, most of you might have either tested or might have taken the subscription also because a particular site provides great icon. But next time, just think about it. Okay, if you want to communicate things visually by yourself on the paper, it is very simple with these basic alphabets. All right. So basically, what is happening? This is the section which is alphabets, and this is where you are forming words using those alphabets. It is typically like language learning. When it goes ahead, when we talk about grammar. That's where making connection, which uh, I think Piyush has mentioned, mind map, concept map, right? Even um, about UX and design thinking. In design thinking, we start creating the persona. We start create, doing the empathy mapping. 
we immediately once once somebody starts learning about ux or design thinking you go online you google it uh, okay what is the best empathy map template what is the best persona template i want to have the great template in uh, for user journey for maybe creating my own information architecture right but the point is what we are doing we are looking out what is already there somebody who has created those kind of templates it is just their own way to explain okay these connections works much better but start thinking about it if you want to put information about your persona not necessary there will be always those four sections which is goal and pain points of course pain points will be there goals will be there i'm just taking those names which are coming to my mind right now but if it is different project if it is different kind of framework uh, which you yourself can create okay so that is something which another uh, great thing which you can do with visual thinking let's go to presentation again um i would like to show you a few examples when i started doing the training um, around 2015 officially training uh, for ux and all other uh, fields for design so this question was all, always being asked in multiple batches okay in and of course in the first session mostly because that's where people wanted to understand what is ux and how can i get good job unfortunately uh, all of us think that okay getting a good job good salary is the ultimate thing which is which is fine different topic but yeah how can i get a good job as a ux designer so that question was asked to me multiple times and it takes it takes time to explain every every time right because you are, you are you have multiple thoughts going on you might miss couple of things for uh, one person one student uh, so from pune i was going to bangalore um, uh, for a couple of starting sessions which was going to happen on saturday sunday and i generally carry notepad a pen and highlighter with me so on the airport when multiple thoughts were going on i think okay this is being asked always being asked in the first session this is something which i created and it was just to clarify my own thoughts okay what exactly how can i uh, tell them in much better way uh, without missing any pointers which will which might be helpful for them and uh to my surprise everyone was really happy with this and multiple, like couple of students click photograph one student said i'll be using it and writing more, one article on this which was surprising for me because i was just clarifying clarifying my own thought so later on after after a few uh, months i just added few things to it uh, made it little bit cleaner that's again a major advantage with visual thinking i'm just showing you previous image again just to tell you that okay there are multiple things which can be refined which can be added which can be removed because it's just pen and paper you don't have to worry about multiple things you are just clarifying you are just refining your own thoughts over here all right uh, i'll be showing few more examples here again uh, when when the training part started now if you are already working in the industry uh, as a designer or going into the design field we know the process we know okay this code happens then we define things we ideate and multiple steps and everyone has different process of course the base process is same but names are different maybe step names right and that is that is where uh, when we had different process and we in, we were interacting a lot initially that okay how how can we make it more efficient whether information architecture goes in dream phase or it should stay in the defined phase uh there were multiple questions because as i said it's a information age so when students are coming to the uh, classes also even professional uh, as such or college students also they are reading about it somewhere else and they, they they don't have clarity about it so to to get that to to get that clarity to get those thoughts aside uh, i just started again these are my notes i mean this was this particular was not shown to any student anyone but just to tell them in very very simple way what can i do to do that so i'll not go in detail i'll just read a couple of points here if mobile apps aesthetic is really good that's what visual designer do if you think app is intuitive i can find what i want easily so the task flow has been done really well if you think it is engaging enough interaction design is done really well so these are the pointers here then what what type of information you need 
from users to reach over here okay at the same point uh, time there is obviously a business uh, stakeholder what type of thing which they need when you do stakeholder interviews when you do competitive analysis what exactly you do so this was again to get the clarity get more thoughts create our own frameworks for that reason um as you can see multiple examples which i am showing uh, my own examples i generally use mind map which is really really powerful that's what uh, i believe and i have been experiencing that i had to take visualization session and uh, doing a lot of research for that uh, it was 3 hour session then what exactly how it should be planned uh, when you see like 30 40 tabs open in your chrome window you are looking at multiple youtube videos you are reading uh, uh, a few articles you are uh, listening to ted talks and then you want to get clarity faster that okay what exactly my flow of uh, lecture will be or my flow of uh, a presentation will be and that is where it starts getting very very clear same thing I've been using in the offices also when you have to present something to client when you have to pitch something to your uh, seniors manager just like even if it is not slide just create those rectangle boxes on your note, in your notepad and just start writing over okay, this is what i have to do because as soon as you start touching digital applications you start rendering you want uh, you every rendering everywhere you start looking for perfection you start looking for great image you start looking for good font you start looking for good alignment and the concept goes away right so that's where don't worry about things like uh, uh, having the perfection to to initial stages of course this is again another example this is this is a really great example um, at creomi uh, in in my startup where we are teaching to uh, smaller kids also we are stressing it lot on the visual thinking part and that's our uh, initial stage uh, because as i told you uh, my son's example about gram panchayat right similar things are happening uh, with students at multiple level and to get that clarity there was a 9 year old girl um, in fourth standard we generally take from fifth standard and it was like friend's daughter and she wanted to attend anyhow so this is something which i have shown in visual note taking course okay this is simple t process uh the girl was 9 year old uh, i i was not at all thinking that okay she has grasped each and everything but after almost 3 months uh, the co course was course was uh, hardly four sessions and after 3 months that friend called me and uh, he said my my wife was not feeling really well and she uh, she was having fever so i just said I told to my daughter okay you should help your mother uh, make a tea for her and then she said i don't know how to make a tea okay she sat near her mother and uh, took pen and paper and asked her okay tell me how to make a tea and she did a drawing but this is mine um we do have her drawing also and maybe i think posted on instagram don't have a handy right now but even after 3 months you can see that impact which is happening on the thought process which is about understanding the new process for her rather than asking multiple question in from kitchen ki okay ab kya karna hai what to put now she has just created very simple quite similar to this and she made tea for her mother of course parents were happy um one one more example i would like to mention uh, which i have mentioned the uh, vietnam project so uh, last year when i was with hans and yang we team our team basically went to vietnam and we were working with one of the bank in vietnam uh, it was entirely research project we uh, had to work on uh, value proposition statement for them so there was lot of research which was being done and it was more over a collaboration with the client and and our teams because it was like okay you are going to provide templates to them at the same time you need to teach them how exactly we are doing it it's not just consultancy okay it it was more about teaching also but the difficult part was uh, one when it comes to japanese uh, chinese uh, vietnamese those kind of asian countries they go a lot in detail okay few things we uh, feel are really obvious ki, okay if i'm showing this arrow and boil we'll say okay what exactly is boiling you haven't mentioned this has been gone into vessel so they go in so much detail they need everything uh, crisp and clear uh, 
in all the meetings in all the presentation all the brainstorming thing there was always one translator with us so these were the things which were really difficult at that point uh, when we were doing the research and they said okay how exactly these questions are converting into persona and what type of questions you are asking and what type of information you are gathering from those now if if many of you have done user research you know that it becomes really difficult to explain each and every question because it is overlapping so that's where again simply we have used mind map okay if you are taking ceo's interview these are the question if it is cfo's interview so in bank uh, we were going to different uh, major companies also then uh, their uh, um, smaller companies where the chain supply chain is happening so that's that's what helped us a lot they understood it really well and then it was really um, smooth flowing again a lot of brainstorming what we did with them uh, on the whiteboard was very easier of course uh, whenever you are writing or explaining verbally translator was needed but the charts connection helped us a lot in in that particular project so the like these are basically the examples which i shown you uh, were own clarifications then this vietnam is something which professionally is uh, has been used experience um to answer your question piyush where it can be used and what are different models um you can you can copy or maybe uh, have this url also to to read this article uh, further on this particular url i have mentioned that visual thinking can be used in leadership and management uh, i'll not be reading each and everything but if you want to create a corporate vision if you want to create a mission statement you can create that vision board using visual thinking okay you want to create uh, organ define organizational structure which we already know hierarchical maybe a few other structures problem solving of course um, to do the design thinking as i mentioned earlier we use multiple visual thinking uh, methods like empathy map personas journey map uh, information architecture and what not right decision making again lot of things are overlapping few things which we are analyzing over there helps us to do the decision making uh, mapping uh, making sorry uh, simple example of decision making could be when you want to purchase something from e-commerce website you want to compare two different products and that time you you feel really happy if it is done in some visual way shown tick marks or cross marks it becomes easier for you to understand and it becomes easier for you to take the decision in that way right so as a designer when you are making something for the user if you keep on thinking about these small aspects uh, our designs will be of course impactful in that way and of course process mapping optimization brainstorming there are a couple of more slides on this so i am just moving faster for this uh, for marketing sales if you want to identify new market again this is kind of brainstorming part right but there are multiple multiple methodologies uh, creating vision maps creating concept models creating mind maps there is mess mapping again different names has been given and as i mentioned earlier you don't have to rely on methodologies or framework which are already available once you understand the aspect how exactly information is gathered and can be organized it becomes really simple okay you can create your own frameworks lot recently uh, we as a creo me worked with one of the ngo in telangana state for rural entrepreneurship um, and for that rural entrepreneurship uh, we as a creo me had to create assignments and engaging activities and that time we did nothing but majorly use mind map okay this is your brain what is happening okay this is what exactly it is because initial couple of sessions were just okay what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship motiv entrepreneurs motivations intrinsic extrinsic and all other factors outlining the strategic plan and few more things like define for for your personal use it could be a uh, to do list it could be note taking and here yeah, just checking okay in chat window link has been shared sorry so uh, visualizing your own where you like we we talk about swot analysis what exactly swot analysis is of course you are writing things but visually you are having those compartments okay these are my strengths these are my weaknesses this is these are my opportunities right even if it is written but 
visually compartments are helping you to do the chunking of the information properly so that you can understand it much better way uh, you can create your own to do list uh, it can be used effectively for note taking mapping your existing knowledge uh, there is there is a book called uh, the back of the napkin okay and written by dan rome uh, it's it's completely on the visual thinking as such and one interesting line he has mentioned initially is hand is mightier than the mouse and i think as a designer we need to understand this really well because i have been working with multiple designers and um, there is always discussion there is always this um, struggle happens with the design that okay we we will start uh, directly start in the photoshop we have design in our mind we will start doing the wireframe because we have that in our mind i know what needs to be done but you yourself know when you start doing it in the tool in photoshop thing which is taking maybe one hour on paper you will refine three to four ideas and get more clarity which is basically stopping you or getting more of your time on the tools or photoshop and all other aspect so please remember i'll request you to keep on doing work on the paper whiteboard uh, whatever you feel if it is uh, your tablet and apple pencil that's fine but keep on doing those kind of thing if more you avoid technology in initial thought process clarity it will be much much better for your own designs and solutions and uh, getting problem clarity great so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to discuss today i know i oh i think i took a little bit more time that's okay can, prasad can open it for questions now yeah they he uh, they asking you put, to mention the name of the book again uh the back of the napkin dan room is the is the author other question for you i come from a healthcare r&d platform and most of the information that i want to co- convey are quite technical for a layman how can i go about simplifying it to make it more comprehensive okay okay um so when it comes to design field also okay even if it is not healthcare lot of information which you are communicating to to your client uh, in ways of persona in ways of journey mapping is complex information or is new information for them but what is helping them to understand let's let's look at uh, slide to make it more clearer uh if it if it is this this particular slide okay now what what i have done here again similar of course domain is different but what layman understand is aesthetic intuitive engaging easy to understand efficient findability they don't care about task flow they don't care about interaction design they don't care about your information architecture they don't care whether you have done the competitive analysis or not right so for for ourselves once we start making these connections it becomes easier for us to explain what is better way to tell them okay of course being in a different domain I, i'm not sure what kind of uh, technical diagrams you are using over there but for for those kind of uh, things to give you one more example um, generally in it field we we um, get the back pain part and i was doing physiotherapy with with one of the physiotherapists for back pain what he did was really surprising and i was really uh, happy to see that whatever exercise he told me for if anyone has have uh, one of you have done uh, physiotherapy for lower back those are very very simple exercises and when it is very simple you tend to miss it what that person that doctor has done uh, he just took out a four sheet other than the prescription prescription or anything and he he was just drawing stick figures okay this is how you need to sleep this is how you need to erect the back this is how cat camel is and that helped me a lot because i didn't miss it i knew okay what exactly to do at that point and those were really really simple stick figures nothing else nothing else all right so start looking at that okay what exactly you want to communicate to uh, uh, when you are talking about layman what exactly your concept is which you want to convey if you start getting that clarity for yourself i think that that helps you to 
um, show it to users in but better way. Maybe that five W and one H will help you much more way, easier way. Um, Sharma, I'm not able to open Q and A box. I'm, anymore. yeah, that's okay. I'm reading the next question, uh, okay, Prasad. Okay. Sure. Why the traffic signal is having only colors and not using signs? Using only colors not accessible for color blindness people is one of the questions. That's that's a great question. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not too sure about it, but yeah, I think that's that's something needs to be considered because a lot of uh, color blind people might not see the red color as such, and. it's not only in india it's happening in all other countries so that's a that's a very good question uh, and to be very frank i'm not sure about it uh, and i i'm curious to know what exactly has gone through it I, i'll be definitely looking for it now online searching for it uh one one more thing which i would to answer for the same question see when when uh, you are creating a solution when you are doing either visual thinking design thinking uh, engineering drawings any technical solution also there are a bunch of people and they are thinking from a particular perspective even the user research has been done they know we will not be able to satisfy 100% of user they will be always targeting 80 to 85% right and it could be the reason that's where like when when we talk about these things uh, color blindness the ratio uh, people who are going ahead for that and in india in fact a lot of people don't know about color blindness that this is something which is really been um, kind of popular in other other way in us and other countries but i think that's that's another way because if we they haven't considered while doing uh, initial research then it might be the reason we can take another question any more questions i don't see any other question coming up okay okay prasad just let's give a moment sure sure any more questions participants okay i don't think uh, we have any more questions prasad great great sure i uh, assume they have understood it then okay. and again yeah. as i mentioned earlier um, it is something which we all know but once we start uh, growing maybe in india our teacher say okay you don't have you cannot draw on your books or notebooks in school but i i believe that is the best effective way to take your notes okay so and that is where and another uh, is fear of drawing and that's where those visual alphabets unfortunately this session was more of giving you information if it is in a uh, detail workshop it then we can work on those other things where you can practice about it but now you got the start where to where to think about it i think if you start doing that visual alphabet practice it will be easier thank you for an amazing session uh, prasad on visuals uh, i think uh, we already had the questions i'm just going to check one last time to see if we have anything else sure. no i don't think uh, we have any other question okay so give me a moment to share my screen and i really thank you sure. uh, very much uh, for such a uh, fabulous se session on visuals thank you thank you audience uh, if any more questions please go ahead for one last time others i'm going to share my screen prasad we have enjoyed having you with us prasad it has been a complete pleasure. pleasure please accept this certificate of appreciation from the institute thank you thank you so the qr code on the certificate will take you to a dedicated <laughs> hall of fame page created for you with a recording of this session okay please share it okay. with your network we'll be sharing the webinar recording on our youtube channel as well okay sure sounds good thank you prasad appreciate you taking your time off for throwing more light on the visual thinking for impactful design my pleasure thank you everyone for joining and thank hey, you prasad, for actually prasad before we close actually uh, i'm sorry guys yes, but before we okay. close uh, please uh, uh,
pick the best question like we promised we were supposed to pick a best question and uh, they'd win a free digital course from IPL so please help us do that prasad and for the I questions know. yeah yeah you can see them in the q and a window or in the answered section the one that we took okay okay uh, right. i think the question which i was not able to answer to to perfectly uh, which was about traffic signal and color blindness i think that's the great question uh, to look at that perspective basically if it is color blind people they might not be able to see those colors that's a great question from my perspective i guess awesome so that question is from vandana and uh, vandana thank you for that great question and we'll get in touch with you shortly with the free digital course congratulations congratulations vandana and thank you prasad once again for the amazing thank session you. really great insights pleasure having thank you here. thank you thank you prasad thank again you, and the audience thank you for joining in it was a great interaction with all of you do not forget to register for the webinar tomorrow with that note i end today's session happy learning and stay skilled have a great night thank you once again prasad good night thank you thank you everybody